Hi guys, in this video I will be demonstrating this low pass filter module that was sent to me by assistation.com. This has an adjustable frequency of 22 to 300 Hz and this can take stereo input and will output a mono signal which can be then fed into the mono power amplifier used with the subwoofer. Here is the actual module. It is labeled SFT-B200. There's the screw header for power, the output and the stereo input. Best thing about this is this can take single-sided power supply, so just ground and 12 volts, no need for negative voltage. This whole circuit is quite simple and it is made fully with the through hole components, no SMD components on the bottom side of the PCB. So if there's any need for modifications, repairs or changes, it should be easy task even for beginners. Controlling this module is as easy as it should be. Frequency knob changes the low pass frequency and volume knob changes the gain. The right spot for the frequency knob will depend on your main speakers and the subwoofer, what frequencies they can reproduce, and the volume knob it will depend on how much bass you want on your audio output. Now I will try to demonstrate this module for you. I have 12 volts connected to the power input, mono output signal connected to my audio recorder, and stereo input is connected to the line output of my computer. And I will play some music from YouTube's audio library. So here it starts playing, and I can change the volume with volume knob, and it won't affect the low pass frequency. You can hear just as high notes as before. But if I turn the frequency knob, you can hear that the high frequency notes are disappearing, and low frequency notes are still playing. It might be hard to hear depending on your speakers or headphones. It may sound like this is changing just the volume, but the low notes are actually still there. And remember this is meant to be used with subwoofers, which are used to extend the frequency of the audio output to lower frequencies than what usual speakers can reproduce. That was the module in action, let's see how it is made. I've drawn a schematic. The first part of the circuit coming from the input side will mix the left and right channels together. It is followed by up to five times gain made with this first half of the operational amplifier. Often the non-inverting input in this kind of circuit is connected to the ground in, in circuits where dual-sided power supply is used, but because this is using single-sided power supply, it is connected to the half of the power supply through a 10K resistor. This will cause the operational amplifier's output to be half of the power supply when nothing is connected to the input, or when the input is DC with no AC component. And when there is a signal, it will be dancing around that half of the power supply voltage. After the first part, which will handle the gain or the volume, there is this very common low pass filter circuit, which is second order active low pass filter, which means it has 12 dB per octave roll off. And this non inverting input is also connected to the half of the power supply voltage through a 10K resistor which will bias the output to the half of the power supply voltage again. And then there's resistor and capacitor and the output capacitor to block the DC from going to the next stage. And this low pass circuit is called Salen Key low pass filter. You can find more information, for example, in Wikipedia. If you want to learn more about it, about the calculations, about the theory behind it, I won't be going too deep into this. So that was the basics of this module. I hope you liked it. There's link in the description with the discount coupon. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. See you in next video. Thanks. Bye.